don't know what that noise is. Can you hear that? What the heck is going on? It sounds like my apartment building is about to take off. I don't understand what that noise is. Hello, Oddballs. It's Amy, and welcome back to my channel and to Vlogmas. That's right. I am uploading a video every single day right up until Christmas Eve. So make sure that you check those out, that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the festive fun. Today's video is actually gonna be almost like a part two to a video I uploaded a couple of days ago. That video was a Christmas wish list slash gift guide and it had a bunch of ideas for gifts that you could buy for someone if you are doing your Christmas shopping or that you could ask for if you are writing your Christmas wish list. In today's video, I am going to be sharing even more Christmas gift ideas, but this time I am focusing on stocking stuffer gifts. And with these videos, I really want to share gift ideas that will not be wasted, that will not just take up space and collect dust, but things that will really be used and appreciated. So without any further introduction from me, let's just get right into that video. Okay, so my first idea is pretty much anything and everything from Lush. From bath bombs to dry shampoo bars to leave-in hair masks to face scrubs to face masks, everything and anything. I love Love those little Christmas magic ones they have, the bubble bars. I feel like a fairy when I have one of those. I, I really hope I get another one of those this year in my stocking. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, mom. My next idea is any kind of little candle. The Yankee votives are the perfect size to slip into a Christmas stocking. And there are so many festive scents. As you may know, I'm a candle addict, but who isn't among us, really? Next, you could get some kind of, I wanna say face appliance, that is not the right word. I don't know, I was thinking like tweezers or eyelash curlers, those always come in handy and those are the kinds of things that often get lost and disappear into the void, never to be seen again. So to have a spare or to have someone give you one is always good. Next, socks, because our feet need to be warm. Next, you could have essential oils. I've really gotten into essential oils recently. I recommended an essential oil diffuser in that first gift guide I did. Um, but even if you didn't have one of those, I use essential oils just, like for instance, I take lavender oil and I sprinkle it on my pillow to help me sleep. There are so many essential oils to choose from and you can just Google to see which essential oils have which benefits and then you can choose from there. Next, Hair ties or bobby pins. Again, those things just disappear off the face of the earth, never to be seen again, so it's always good to have a bunch to hand. Next, you could have a selfie stick. My roommate says that my selfie stick is really lame. I think it's super practical. We can all get in a selfie if we have a selfie stick. No one has an arm that long. A selfie stick, you can extend it all out and it is really useful. Next, a makeup bag. Makeup bags tend to get kind of grungy after a while so you need to keep replacing them so that would be a really good gift idea for someone who's into makeup this next one is maybe a little bit specific to me i don't know how many people would want this i definitely do it is the little cogsworth clock that they have at the moment at premark or primark if you are english and it's six pound and it is so adorable on that note they also have those little chip mugs and Mrs. Potts statues as well. So if you have a Disney fan in your life or someone who loves Beauty and the Beast, that would be perfect for someone like that. Next is makeup of pretty much any description. You could get mascara, nail polish, concealer, anything like that is gonna be really easy to just wrap up quickly and stick into a Christmas stocking and it is always going to be appreciated. Next is a purse. I actually personally have two purses. I have a big one that I can keep all of my cards in and all of my coupons and everything and it's, it's like a brick. And then I also have a smaller coin purse and it's really useful to just switch between the two. So a purse is always a good gift. 
Next is face masks and the possibilities are endless when it comes to face masks. There are so many out there and you can pick up a packet face mask or sheet face mask for a pretty reasonable price if you're on a budget. Personally, I recommend Soap & Glory's new range of face masks. They have a peel off mask, they have a sheet mask, they have a bunch of different types and the ones that I've tried have all been excellent. Next is a really practical idea and it is a power bank. How many times have you gone out and then your phone dies and you're like stuck in the middle of nowhere and it's, you'd cut off from the world? It's a nightmare that most of us have lived through, um, but if you have a power bank, then you don't need to worry about that. Next is a reusable shopping bag. We should really all be trying to be more environmentally conscious and this is a super easy and downright fashionable way to do that. You can pick up like tote bags, canvas bags. I have one that it folds up into a little pouch with a drawstring and then you can just pop it at the bottom of your handbag. That's just a really nice simple gift that is going to get a lot of use. Next is another really practical idea and it's a USB key ring. I don't have one of these and quite frankly I need one because I lose my USB stick maybe four or five times a week and I'm just like where the heck did I put that thing? You can get some really cute USB key rings as well so it makes a pretty little gift on top of being practical. Next is setting spray. I use the NYX Stay Matte Setting Spray um, but there are a bunch of different ones out there. It's great for this time of year when you're going to a lot of parties, you want your face to stay glued on, you don't want it to be slipping and sliding all over the place. My next idea is a gift card and with a gift card you pretty much can guarantee that it's not going to go to waste. If you know that someone likes a specific shop that they shop there a lot, like New Look, Topshop, Miss Selfridge, you can get a gift card for that. You could get an iTunes gift card if you know someone who, you know, likes a lot of music. A Costa gift card would be a really nice one if you have a coffee lover in your life because it's expensive to drink coffee every day. I know, I've been there. If you can't decide which shop to get a gift card for, they have gift cards that work in a variety of different like high street shops, so you should definitely check that out. My next idea is a tangle teaser. Honestly, once I got a tangle teaser, I did not look back. Next is a beauty sponge. Again, a small but life-changing object. You could go for a beauty blender because that's kind of like a cult favorite. Personally, I have the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and it's cheaper and I think it's excellent. But a bunch of different brands have a bunch of different beauty sponges, so you are not going to be short of options for that. My next idea is perfect if you are buying for someone who is an avid writer or someone who makes a lot of to-do lists, and that would be a nice pen. You could go super fancy and get a Parker pen. I own a couple of Parker pens, and trust me, as someone who writes a lot, there is a difference. But if you don't really want to splurge that much, then you could even just pick up a really pretty pen for super cheap at somewhere like Wilkinson's. They do them in nice little gift boxes for maybe like one pound, one pound fifty. My next idea is earphones. If the person you're buying for is anything like me, they lose their earphones frequently, so having a new set will always be a welcome gift. And my last idea is the most essential stocking stuffer gift, and it is chocolate. If you didn't have chocolate in your Christmas stocking, was it even Christmas? I know that back at home the ultimate Christmas stocking chocolate is Terry's Chocolate Orange. I don't know if they sell those in, in other countries. Like, let me know down below actually because I'm curious. Like, where do you live and do they have Terry's Chocolate Orange? Because if not, you need to get your hands on some, you are missing out. But seriously though, any kind of chocolate would work. Chocolate coins, chocolate Santa, chocolate everything. Because as we all know, it's chocolate for breakfast on Christmas morning. So those were all of my stocking stuffer gift ideas. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you haven't already checked out that first gift guide I did, then I will link it down below so you can go and check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that when you guys do that. If you haven't already, then please go ahead and click that subscribe button to become a member of our Oddball family. And for those of you who have already done that, thank you guys so much. 
You are my oddballs and I love you. I hope you guys are really enjoying the lead up to Christmas. Comment down below, let me know what you're doing. Help me get in the Christmas spirit. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having a beautiful day and that you are enjoying the lead up to Christmas. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.